Hey, podcaster, Belle here. Well, what a show it was. We got nude, we got high, and we found some fun things. Enjoy. Live across Australia, this is Ben, Liam and Belle's Late Drive. On Nova. Love rap. Belle's a love rap. Yep, 13, 24, 10. We want to talk about nudes but especially nudes gone wrong. If you've had a nude that's been seen by somebody that it shouldn't have or you accidentally sent it, 13, 24, 10. We got a DM on Instagram from Misha. She said, hey, Ben, Liam and Belle, love the show. Thought I'd share something hilarious with you that happened to me this week. Sometimes on Insta, I'll share a sexy snap of myself to my close friend's story and put a select few guys on the list so only they see it. I've done that. I love that move. Do it's people the best. do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I've never used the close friends, friends feature. In fact, I find sometimes when I'm on people's close friends, I'm like, I'm not that close with you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? I'm like, I don't know you like that. Like, why really? am I? Why am I seeing the green ring here? Oh, I've no, I've I've done this before where you put like a really like you know kind of revealing uh, picture, but you put it on close friends, and then you just like. Because you can only you can select just like two people to see it, yeah, and then right. you can see when they've seen it. Maybe now's a good time to bring up Bill. Can you take me off your close friends? <laughs> well, so listen to Misha's story. Maybe yeah, this is kind of true. She said, "I did this as <laughs> usual on the weekend, and unfortunately, I accidentally ticked my brother to be on the list because he has the same name as one of the guys I've been chatting to." It's the worst. Oh. I didn't realize until it was too late. Thirteen twenty four ten. Nudes gone wrong. Isabel in Melbourne, good evening. What was the nude and what happened? Good evening. Uh, so I was going on a trip to Sydney with my mum for the weekend and I put my phone on aeroplane mode, as you do, and when we landed, when we were still on the plane, I turned my phone off to send a message to my partner saying, landed, I'm safe, all is well. And... Little did I know, whilst it was on aeroplane mode, he sent me a bunch of news and my mother saw it all. Oh. oh. Right. So you were just about to take off on the Jetstar flight and he thought, have one of these. <laughs> you like that? Yeah, enjoy your trip in Sydney with your mum. <laughs> this is what you're missing out on. Okay. Well, uh, you know, where did that come from? Isabel, we're going to give you a $50 Uber Eats voucher for sharing. Thank you very much. Kate in Brizzy, nudes gone wrong. What happened? Hi, guys. So I um, had sent some nudes to my husband, who was just my boyfriend at the time, and um, somehow they got uploaded onto his daughter's iPad from his phone through the cloud. Oh, And uh, she was only about eight or nine at the time, so a little bit young. And um, she went and told her mother about it, and mum, not being happy with the new girlfriend situation, called the police on us. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. And obviously, yeah. there's there's things involved there with all of that. You can see both sides of that, oh, yeah. for sure. But it's a hard one to argue, especially now with your charge and all. Uh, <laughs> and you know, can't work around schools and that sort of thing anymore. But uh, uh, you can see what happened, but it's not a good thing. Kate, we really appreciate you sharing. Thank you so much. Cooper in Melbourne, this was your partner. Nudes gone wrong. Yeah, so pretty much my wife now, but uh, partner at the time, she had given her old phone to her mum and completely unaware that obviously the the, uh, the iCloud was still signed in and yeah. sent, uh. saved a bunch of nudes to, to send. Um, and then they had downloaded onto her mum's phone as well. And um, it was an awkward conversation when she was asking how her new phone has these explicit <laughs> photos on them, even though it's a brand new phone. So oh, that, wow. it was a bit of an awkward one as well because yeah. she couldn't play it off like it was somebody else because her face was clearly in the photo. Right. Yes. yes. I yeah. mean, we, we could deep dive into just when did the iCloud get you? Because this is like... Yeah, this is all just cloud <laughs> stuff at the moment. Cooper, just to specify, was it you nude on the phone or the daughter nude on the phone? So it was the daughter, but the the nudes were on her on, on my wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah gotcha, yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. And uh, were they tasteful, Coop, or...? Well... Th- to be honest, they weren't. They were. I wasn't with my partner then, so they weren't with me. I just have, know the story through the grapevine. So yeah, I right, thought well, I'd better call the yeah, dobber yeah. in. I don't know. I don't know if I can break it to you, but I don't know if they were too tasteful. <laughs> <laughs> they sounded nasty. <laughs> Real nasty. Uh, anonymous in Brizzy. Nude's gone wrong. What happened? 
Um, I, I uh, sent a nude to who I thought was my boyfriend at the time, but it uh, was my female boss. <laughs> um, How? I was, I was a new graduate nurse. Uh, it was after a night duty. I was tired. Um, well, that was my excuse. And my boss um, was a lesbian as well, so... Um, a lot of the girls that I worked on the ward with at the time, to this day, still say that she probably kept that nude. <laughs> that sounds inappropriate. Yeah. Um, what, was, it, was it a tasteful nude or was it nasty? It was for my boyfriend, so not overly tasteful. <laughs> yeah. oh, okay. Sounds like it was nasty. Trent in Brisbane, what happened? So, I work in a pet store. And um, this customer was coming in and was showing me some of their like fish illnesses, and <laughs> it's gone to swipe through their their album, mm. and all of a sudden that's where the, uh, full on like photo came up of them in the act with their partner. Whoa! Right, and yeah. it's it's good that you could tell the difference because if she was going through fish illness <laughs> pictures yeah, and then yeah. you breeze really? straight through it and she went whoop, yeah. then it would be a problem, Trent, obviously. I bet you've seen some sick puppies in your time, but that might have taken it to <laughs> yeah. another level. I mean, yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you got a joke you want to do, Bill? <laughs> Liam did one, oh, and I did one. Yeah, yeah I was... Um, Go on, did she? Oh, Come on, Belle. Belle's about to do a joke, guys. Hey, <laughs> hey, Anon in Adelaide, just hang there. Belle, um, Belle's going to do a joke, okay? Did she have any photos of her pussy? Ah, uh, okay, well. Well, Belle, there's a line. <laughs> so, a there there's a line, okay? That's it's 20 past cold. six. I'm sorry, but okay, you said no, sick I, puppy and yeah, no. yeah. I think as a show, so me and Liam formally apologise to everyone listening. I'm so, so sorry. Yeah, you didn't need to do it. Anon, sorry about that. Um, no worries. Yeah, no, it's oh. it's not it's not right. Um, anyway, um, nude's gone wrong. What happened? So um, I was with my boyfriend at the time, and we went and visited my grandparents' house, and we were looking through the family album, and I was showing him photos of me and my um, my siblings when we were young. And uh, we came across a photo of my grandmother lying on the couch naked. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's not something you yeah, want to see. Yeah, yeah. And that was in the family uh, grandchildren album. So mm. how did that get in there? I could not tell you how it got in there, but that album got shut very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That sounds like it should have gone in Granddad's sneaky album. He sort of, <laughs> he might have had bad eyes and just got mixed up when he was, you know, arranging all the photos. Uh, Lee in Sydney, nude's gone wrong. Oh, hey. So um, uh, my hub- hubby was away for a couple of days at a conference and I was alone and taking some sexy very raunchy selfies. I sent him those, not realising uh, he was actually presenting at that time to the conference of 300 people with his computer hooked oh, up to the big screen. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. My dad. <laughs> so oh. it popped up on the, what, on the projector, basically. On That's... the projector at an IT conference. So oh, 300 God. men. Uh, Got to see everything, and it would have sound. Um, it would have the sound would have been like a first round knockout at the MGM Grand. Do you know what I mean? Like the, the, the eruption. You know, three hundred people. Like you're, at a, you're you are going. Oh my god, what have I done with my life? I'm at an IT conference. I hate this. I hate everything about this. This is so boring. I've been here for days, and then all of a sudden, just a flurry of nudes from the poor guy presenting to start popping up on the projector. You'd be like, oh, <laughs> What a legend, Arissa Truth, 14-year-old girl winning gold at the Games and her big secret of how she did it has been revealed by her coach. Aussie skateboarder Arissa True got some crazy advice from her coach before going on to win Olympic gold. He said, Skibbity Sigma. While it might mean nothing to many people, it gave True the boost she needed to win gold. She said, it's just like a joke that I have with all my friends because Sigma is like the top. (laughs) <laughs> That's the most fourteen-year-old thing I've ever heard. <laughs> yep. Her coach just whispered "skibbity sigma," which is something you'd see on TikTok a lot, like that sort of brain rot thing. And then she was like, "Yep, I've got it. I've, I'm going to win gold." I feel four hundred years old because that makes zero sense. Yeah, and that's the thing, though, Ben, because you know, you, you know, you are a dad. You know, you're, you're thirty now. Mm. Maybe you're not around with the lingo with a lot of the kids. You know, I'm only a couple of years younger, but I'm clinging on for dear life. So I'm on TikTok quite a little bit, mm. and you know, I, I've adopted uh, some of these catchphrases and words. So I thought maybe um, since it worked for Arissa, 
I could maybe give a bit of a rev up to some of the athletes who are still competing so we could maybe get a few more goals. Using a bit of brain rot. Yeah, yeah, just so it makes sense to them because they're yep. all so young these days, you know <laughs> what I mean? Um, if you're ready, can you hit the music there for me, Ben? You spent four years tirelessly training for this, edging and gooning your way to glory. You've graduated from Riz Academy with honours, athletes strapped with bus and glizzies and level 10 giats, no glaze. The whole world can see it. Baba Booey, the other nations are spinning on it if they think Australia's going to take an L in the chat. And soon enough, your opponents will break their mewing streaks and reveal themselves as mouth breathers. No cap! And whenever you feel like your back's up against the wall and you want to give up, just remember my next words and you will succeed. Grimace shakes Gabusi Chungus Quandale Dingle with the sauce. Now I'm going to let you cook because you're all locked in Sigmas with a thousand aura points. Bring it home for Australia. W's in the chat. W's in the chat. Do you think that will do the trick? <laughs> yeah, I reckon that'll do I something. I so. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do you remember what I said? Grimace shakes, kabusi, chungus, quandao, dingle with the sauce. So you just remember that, guys. If you're ever feeling like a little down or whatever, you just think of that. And yeah, you can do anything. Yeah. <laughs> 13, 24, 10. What did you find? Now, I know that's pretty broad, but if you ever found something and you need to tell us about it, 13, 24, 10. I found a safe in my rental in Adelaide under the carpet. Yeah, oh, remember that? Right. The carpet came up and I was like, what's under here? Safe. And we did a thing on the show where we got listeners to come to my house, which mm. is in hindsight kind of crazy. <laughs> and they um, like, had turns at trying to crack the safe. And then we got like a professional safe guy. And unfortunately, there was nothing in the safe. Yeah. The <laughs> reason I mention this is because there's a big hurricane at the moment over in America, Hurricane Debbie. And that has washed up 32 kilos of cocaine mm-hmm. the on Colum- a Colombian marching powder yes on a beach in Florida and a good Samaritan has called the police amazing imagine going for your morning beach stroll mm. there you go 32k I think, you know some people are like, oh why wouldn't you take that I think you would you would call the police for that or like yeah. or, tr- yeah. or or just to be honest just walk past it because mm. someone is going to kill you <laughs> if, they, yeah. if, if that much illicit substance has gone missing, someone wants to kill you. Oh, yeah, of course, because uh, the street value of 32 kilos. Mm-hmm. One million dollars. Whoa. Yeah. And Dr. Evil would miss that for sure. Uh, David, in Sydney, what did you lose? Was it, it wasn't a million dollars worth of cocaine, was it? Oh, I didn't lose something, but I certainly found something. I um, I'm oh, yeah, my sorry, house. I forgot. No, I just, yeah, no, you're right. No, we are doing, we're doing, what did you find? Yeah, no, I, so, yeah, I only just heard what Ben said as well. So I thought, I thought it would have been, what did you lose? Uh, I'm glad you're listening, David. Thank you very much. What sorry, did you mate. find? Thought I called for the wrong topic. Um, so did I find, I, I, um, I moved in my house about two years ago, yeah, and um, never thought to check the roof because, like, I just had no reason to. Mm. Um, but earlier this year, I had some water coming through, so... Got the ladder, got my torch, got up the manhole cover, mm-hmm. turned it on I, right in front of me, can't believe it, an actual coffin, like a full-blown, oh, no. real coffin. Whoa. Empty. It was empty, thankfully, <laughs> but oh my God. <laughs> coffin? Up in the roof? Yeah, don't know. I, like, I'm surprised it like, had, had some MDF and it was sitting there. Like, I'm surprised I didn't have it come through at some stage. That yeah. would have been a bit worse. And a pain in the ass to get a coffin up a manhole. Yeah. I, I find it hard enough getting up the manhole, but getting a whole coffin up there. Absolutely. David, thank you so much for sharing. I'm going to give you a $50 Uber Eats voucher. Sophia in Sydney, what did you find? Hi, guys. How are you? Good. Um, so we were doing some work at the neighbour's house. Um, Because some new people moved in, we became friends with them. And um, as we were doing some work, we found in the walls some old um, adult film. Oh, right. Oh, some like some pianos. Yeah, some scandalous stuff. And and so someone had like put them in the drywall? Yeah. 
Oh man, That's so weird. I don't know. Yeah, the people who lived there previously must have. <laughs> someone obviously wanted to hide it. Yeah, and that's yeah. the thing. Like, obviously, that that's just seems like a shameful man trying to hide it from his wife. <laughs> but I love the idea of every time that guy's wife goes to the shops, <laughs> he has to punch a hole through the drywall, quickly get the job done, and then plaster them up. She's like, "Have you been doing some DIY? Like, has, what what happened?" Sophia, thank you very much. Uh, Rhiannon in Sydney, what did you find? Uh, Well, my husband and I, we were taking the dog for a walk. We'd gone through the bush and ran to the local park. And as we're coming around the um, the back of the amenities building, we find 18 big garbage bags um, around the back and thinking that someone dumped rubbish. But um, it wasn't rubbish. It was about a million dollars worth of marijuana. Whoa! Whoa. The herb man! 18 bags? That's nuts. I mean, you you know, I think we were saying this with the the cocaine on the beach, like, before. Like, what do you do there? Because, I mean, like, obviously you don't want to steal a stash if there's some nasty people looking Mm. for it. Did you you call the cops? Did you... What did you do? Oh, we did. Like, um, we... Our son was only very little at the time, and that while it did briefly cross our mind that maybe we could take some home, we thought probably best not to have around the house for the baby. Um, so we were responsible and called the cops. Yeah, after lighting up a big doink, though, I'm sure. <laughs> There's only 17 bags left by the time the cops yeah. came. <laughs> <laughs> Clayton in Brizzy, tell us, what did you find? Uh, I was doing a couple of seasons in Sunshine and Whistler, and we were doing a snowboard day and I lost my GoPro off my helmet. Mm. Went back two years later for a hike and we thought, oh, we'll just go see if we can find it. Sure enough, we found the GoPro in the trees where we lost the GoPro. Two years prior, you'd lost it in that spot? In the same spot. We thought we'd go back hiking in the summertime, so during snowboarding season. Yeah. And then come back two years later, thought, oh, we'll just go check it out, see if we can find it. And sure enough, we've got the SD card and all the photos and the film from that day. Oh, that's unreal. (laughs) That is wild. That is an ad for GoPro. That shows how sturdy it is. Two years of weather and it is good to go. Richard in Sydney joins us now. What did you find? Hi, mate. How are we doing? Um, So I was stopping at at the local McDonald's. I found a wallet with over $14,000 worth of cash uh, in on top of the toilet head, and I started shaking. I didn't know what to do with it, and my old man's like, yeah, you should probably hand that in. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, 14 grand, that, that's drug dealer money. Yeah. So, so this is the thing. I had handed it in. The cops sort of were like, oh, what is this? I'm like, I don't know. I don't want to have anything to do with it. And they said, right, after three months, if no one claims it, it's yours. So I put a claim in, and the day before I could come and collect it, they called saying that the owner had come and collected it. Oh, and- oh that did you, sucks. Did you ever find out, like, why the owner had so much money in their wallet? I, I reckon it was like, he probably sold his car or, you know, maybe done something dodgy. I don't know. Yeah, but then also <laughs> to take three months to then claim your wallet, weird. Yeah, or maybe he'd gone to the bank before and he was just planning on doing some absolute damage on the loose change menu. <laughs> he was like, yeah, I'm bringing 14 grand. I'm going to get me some cheeseburgers. Let's go. Uh, Steph in Sydney, what did you find? Uh, about 10 years ago, I moved into a townhouse. Um, a single father and his two sons were living there prior, and in one of the cupboards, I found a bag full of Barbie's heads. Ooh. Just the heads. Just the heads. What did it you was find? really weird. What did you do, just throw them out? Yes, but I'm concerned where those people are now. It feels a bit dharma-y, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, D- Dharma had real heads. <laughs> Very different to just, <laughs> oh, we found some Barbies. <laughs> yeah, that's like a gateway head, you know? Gateway, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gateway it's, beheading, yes. It's yes. Barbies and then, you know, <laughs> human, human head. Uh, Steph, thank actually, you. animals in between, but I know. Oh, I, it's sad, but it's true. Yeah. Steph, thank you very much for sharing that uh, gory story. <laughs> Bit of a risky one, but 13, 24, 10. It's late in the evening. Give us a buzz if you got accidentally high, accidentally high, accidentally high. A dog has been rushed to the vet. He's okay. After tucking into some devil's lettuce. And dogs will do that. They'll eat anything off the ground. He wasn't to know. Stoned out of his mind, this dog. Just zonked and zonked on the beach. <laughs> and worst place... 
places to be stoned, to be fair. <laughs> um, but the dog was a bit out of it, and the owner's like, oh, no, they saw what happened. But he's okay. The, the dog is yeah, okay. He's, okay. he's okay. just accidentally it's, They couldn't get high. him out of the shed. Yeah, and now he has dreadlocks. <laughs> 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 and uh, loves hacky sack. Um, <laughs> oh, we've actually got a call for this one. I, I didn't know if this would work or not. Chloe in Brisbane, you got accidentally high. Hi, yes. Uh, not at a great moment either. Mm. Um, housemate uh, had made some special brownies. Unfortunately, failed to mention that they were a little bit special to mm-hmm. me. Mm-hmm. Helped myself. Um, had a lovely big Zoom conference. And, um, yeah, I started to feel really nice and relaxed just <laughs> as I got on the call. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's unreal. Turned your camera off and yeah. just <laughs> started vibing. Chloe, uh, to help with those munchies, we're going to give you a $50 Uber Eats voucher. Thank you so much, guys. No worries. I love that if your boss is like, Chloe, can you please cock your seat back forward a little bit? <laughs> this is very unprofessional. 13, 24, 10, accidentally high. Give us a buzz if you have got a story you would like to share. Liv, what happened to you? Well, not me specifically, but my dash hound. One day we found him and he couldn't quite walk and his eyes were bright red and then went to find two brownies were missing and the rest is hidden in the backyard. And he was, for about 24 hours, couldn't move. Did you take him to the vet, Liv? We did, we did. And then um, I didn't actually say anything initially and then she was like, oh, this happens all the time. We get about four dogs a day that get really high. Did you say it was a dash hound? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, the problem yeah. there is when, when a dash hand gets high, it wants to eat itself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sausage is yummy. <laughs> uh, 13, 24, 10. Keep your calls coming for Accidentally High. Accidentally High. Accidentally High. Accidentally High. Craig, in Brisbane, what happened? Yeah, I, um, I have scored some biscuits. <laughs> Thinking that um, that would be all right, and I took a bite of them, and nothing happened. So I thought I'd take a couple more bites, mm-hmm. and then I spent the rest of the night on the veranda in the fetal position, shaking and thinking someone was going to come and abduct me. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, see, Craig, that doesn't really sound very accidental. It sounds like you you really chewed into that. It's a good endorsement for don't do drugs. It, it, it is, absolutely it is. is. You don't um, want to think someone's going to come and abduct you whilst you're shaking on a veranda. Uh, <laughs> Darian in Sydney, you got accidentally high. Darren, are you there? Oh, sorry, I'm here. Nah, go for it, mate. You're not high now, are you? No, no, definitely not high now. Uh, so a few years ago, uh, unfortunately, my mum got uh, cancer and she lost the appetite as part of uh, her chemo. Mm. So my, it was my uncle's great idea to give her cannabis oil to help her get her appetite back. Mm-hmm. And unfortunately, my mum doesn't label things very well. So one night I'm cooking a few steaks that uh, use the wrong oil. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, CBD-infused steak. Wow. So, what? yes, you, your mum and your whole family were well done, I'd imagine. <laughs> Uh, maybe a few medium rare if you, you know, it was a little a bit later on in the pan. Uh, Nikki uh, from Sydney, you got accidentally high? Hey, it wasn't me actually, it was my dad. So I had made some weed brownies and I had them in the fridge and he was out of outside of Sydney in Newcastle and he sent me a text that really showed me that he was home and I was like, oh, don't eat those brownies in the fridge and he said, too late and I was like, oh no. <laughs> anyway, he ate two of them and was mm. on his way to like a third birthday party <laughs> and was like, I'm having a heart attack, like I'm about to die and <laughs> ended up in hospital <laughs> and when I got there, he just couldn't even open his eyes, he could barely speak and all he could say was, I'm effed, I'm effed, I'm effed and <laughs> I had to be like, sorry, hi nurses, hi doctors, this is what's happened. Yeah. They had to tell them. Because you come in and go, I've got the answer. I'm yeah. sort of glad he didn't make it to the third birthday party, though, and absolutely destroy that young kids' event. You know? For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au.